after all these years of owning luxury handbags, I actually realized that I much prefer top handle bags. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making savvy and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I never realized that about myself before, but I definitely do now. And I'm gonna share with you my favorite top handle bags from my collection. The Coco handle is definitely one of them. The Coco handle does come with a detachable shoulder strap, which I do use once in a while. And I actually really love the fact that there is one. I'd rather leave it dangling if I don't use it. But when I do use it, I love the fact that I can be hands-free. This bag will make it into another category. You guys will see in the following weeks. But as a top handle bag, it's superb. This top handle, even in the mini size, well, I guess this is a small size, but some countries still call it mini. You can even wear it on the crook of your arm, definitely gaining more in popularity, but the price point is still really good. It's such a classic look. It's so feminine. Of course, it's not as versatile as your classic mini flaps, which I still believe you can dress up and down really well with a classic mini. You don't have to dress to the nines, but I definitely feel like you can't dress down too, too much with this bag. Otherwise it will look a little weird but you do you. Even though the Lady Dior does come with a shoulder strap as well and you can even crossbody it, I still feel like the top handle feature is the main feature of this bag. It's so ladylike, so demure, it's so pretty and I feel like you cannot go wrong with the Lady Dior. It's so classic. This bag is still really, really fresh and really new to me so I cannot really tell you the pros and cons from my point of view, but I can already tell that it's gonna be a little bit more fussy than all the other top handle bags that I'm gonna share. But nevertheless, this is a passion purchase for me. It's been on my wish list for many, many years. And I just wanted to have one, at least one. So I started off with this gray one in the mini size. My bucket bag from Chanel, this is from the 19B collection. So from last fall, I feel like this bucket bag is the perfect top handle design because of this top handle feature. Of course, it does have a shoulder strap. I can also use it on the crook of the arm. It's spacious, it's beautiful, it's hard wearing, it's caviar. I can definitely rely on this bag as a really good everyday top handle bag. If you're after a bucket bag from Chanel, I definitely highly recommend that you look for one that has a top handle. I mean, they always come with shoulder straps and you know, the beautiful chains and the design might be a little different, but definitely, definitely try to get one with the top handle. It really makes a world of difference. Did you guys think that I would say that the Chanel 19 is a great top handle bag? Because it is. Even though this bag does come with a beautiful shoulder strap, it's very substantial, it's very heavy, Heavy. I just don't think that it's the most comfortable. If it wasn't because of this top handle, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. This chain is so beautiful when it just drapes. The lambskin on this compared to like even the Lady Dior, I feel not scared when I wear this, but with the Lady Dior right now, I'm still in discovery mode. So I'm still being really, really careful. But with this bag, I am just so happy with it. I feel like this style is here to stay no matter what people think. My size is the size small. So I think slouchiness is not going to be a huge factor on mine. Nevertheless, I love, love, love this bag. Also one of my top purchases from last year. And I really do think that the Chanel 19 is a great top handle bag, even though it does have the shoulder feature. This is the Louis Vuitton Spring Street bag and it is kind of like a nighttime bag. It does come with a shoulder strap as well, and it is completely detachable. It's kind of like a thicker guitar style. The handle is just so nice that I feel like this is more of a top handle bag more than anything. I feel like this is more of a trend anyway, the fact that all the bags nowadays do come with an extra strap for convenience. By the way, this is a great bag. It fits a lot. It gives me heritage vibe and it, really is a great price point. So I do recommend it. I don't use it a whole lot myself. I don't know why it is, maybe because I have a lot of mini bags to rotate, but it is a great bag. Another amazing top handle bag for me is the Celine Trapeze. I have it in the size small. Yes, this bag is discontinued, but this is such a good fashionista bag. It's a good blogger bag, I suppose, many years ago. I know it's not as in trend right now. In fact, a lot of people probably sold theirs. 
mine is still in pristine condition. I just love this shape so much. I don't know, there's something about this bag. Whenever I carry it, I always hold it by the handle. It's such a comfortable handle. I think there's a theme with my top handle bags. Most of them are just a single handle and they're usually big enough for your arms to go through easily, which is a feature that I love so much because even if you don't use a shoulder strap, which a lot of them do have, you can easily put it on the crook of your arm and you're done, you're hands free in a way. You can just kind of like grab things or shop or whatever, do something instant. So I love, love, love a nice, nice handle, especially one that's generous, that doesn't get in the way, one that's easy to grab and go, and it just feels solid and just reliable. This is my larger size top handle bag, but I love it. And of course, yes, it does come with a detachable shoulder strap as well, which I do use, and I really appreciate having it. Now, the last top handle bag that I wanted to mention, I don't own yet, but it is part of my wish list, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it, but it is the Hermes Birkin. I am fully aware that the size 30 is probably a better cook of the arm size, but I just really, really like the size 25. Like I said, I want it brand new, so there's this whole other discussion about how to get it. But yes, it is definitely in my intentions, and I do feel that the Birkin is the ultimate top handle bag for sure, because you have no other way of carrying it. What's your favorite top handle bag from my collection and also from yours? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. I hope that you subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.